We are talking about muzzles today. We like to call them treat straws around here. Because basically, this is just boiled chicken right here. We're going to take a little bit of that and put it into the treat bag. Bada bing. I imagine Mr. Petey can probably smell that. I'm just going to tell you my little secrets. When this was first fitted to Petey, I left this on. So, once, when you put it on the first time, clip this into the hole next to the hole that you go into, and the next part will be much easier. You can see that I have this, the pin is in it about the second hole. I keep it intact, but I don't tuck the tab in, because I want to be able to grab that very quickly. Eventually, I'm going to have a dog's head like that. I want to be able to grab that tag, tab and be right where I'm supposed to be to lock it in. That's where I am now, by having this clipped right where it needs to be. So that's the deal. Watch how quickly, so I'm ready. This can stay on, at least for my dog, this can stay on, no problem. And uh, this is going to be the click that is the reason for the treat. So you can see, this is going to be on in no time. And it helps if your dog is happy to have it happen. So let's see. Petey, are you comfortable with uh, putting this on for me? It looks like you are, so we're just going to snap it right into position there. And then we're going to go pop. And that's it. That is it. Cinch it down. It goes automatically right to where it's supposed to go. And I even made that a different color because that, that little hole is hard to get into. Uh, for this little practice session, I'm not even going to thread it through. Right? That absolutely secures it. We've got it secured over the top. We've got it secured on the bottom. He's not going to get this off. It's right in position. Happy to have it done. And guess what? Nice. <clears throat> the reason... We install this device is solely because uh, it is through it that one eats chicken. And then uh, all I can tell you is as long as eating chicken requires a treat straw, Petey's going to be happy to put it on. And you can see it generally takes under 10 seconds for me to do. Taking it off is even easier. I undo this first because I want to be not biteable. And then, boom. Boom. Off it comes. Nice. Good job. And now for that, he does get a treat, but we're back to kibble. Because <clears throat> you can only eat chicken through a treat straw for now. I don't want Mr. P to get the wrong idea. So to get it ready for next time, I'm going to thread it to, through to position two. And we're ready to go.